Hey, Joe. Yeah, mixture of sun and clouds for our Tuesday. It looks pretty good. You can see outside right now some blue fighting through, but still some low level clouds, and that is the Gulf humidity. Moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's what we have to look forward to for the next seven days or so. Outside right now looks pretty good. Mostly clear to partly cloudy, and we'll say pretty much similar to that for the next six hours or so. Isolated showers definitely possible, but I do think the better chance that rain stays west of the city mainly west of Highway 77. Sunset around 830 tonight with a southeast wind on the light side at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So here's radar. You can see a little active earlier today along that sea breeze boundary. A very typical summer like pattern here in South Texas. Now what I'm focusing in on is a thunderstorm out near Fal Furious. A lot of folks actually sent their uh, photos and videos of this thunderstorm out to our south and west. Now, generally, this is going to weaken as it travels north along 281, but scattered downpours and that lone thunderstorm out near Fal Furious will provide some good buckets of rain in the next half hour. Again, west of the city. Up north near George West and Beeville, western Live Oak County, some light sprinkles, light showers, but really, the activity is starting to weaken and fizzle out at this hour. Now, mostly cloudy for tonight. After midnight, things start to clear up and improve. Temperatures drop to about 75 to 77 here in the city under mostly clear skies. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, it should be mostly clear. A nice sunrise is waiting for you with temperatures rebounding into the upper 80s and lower 90s by 2 and 3 o'clock for your Wednesday afternoon with uh, halfway through the work week. So good news there. So right now, 85 degrees out the door feels like 91. Not terrible. Dew points are slightly lower. Southeast winds a little breezy between about 15 and 20 miles per hour. All right, the uh, setup aloft and at the surface, we have high pressure out to our north and east. That is providing the humidity, the good fetch of Gulf moisture in South Texas, and that's leading to a very humid setup here in our neck of the woods. Out west is a low pressure system, and out east is an additional low pressure system. Now, as we get into tomorrow and Thursday, it looks like this high, this uh, dome of warm air aloft is going to really dominate our forecast for tomorrow and Thursday, which will diminish rain chances slightly. Friday and this weekend, they come back slowly, only isolated showers possible here in the coastal bend and of which will amount to about a quarter of an inch of rainfall. And the green is indicating over the next seven days. So we're not going to see a whole lot of rainfall, but definitely a few showers that could amount to maybe half an inch out to our south and west near Fal Furious and over in Kingsville. All right, changing gears to the tropics, you can see a disturbance we're watching very closely just off the eastern coast of Georgia and also the Carolinas. Right now, not looking too impressive. And even if it did form into our next storm, which would be Dolly, it's far away from us, far away from the coastal bend. And the National Hurricane Center is giving it a 10% chance at forming in the next two to five days. Tomorrow's forecast, high temperatures, up radies under mostly sunshine. UV index up to extreme. Sunrise around 630 tomorrow morning. All right, seven-day forecast. Rain chances return for Friday and this weekend. Father's Day looks pretty good. Temperatures in the lower 90s. Joe.